Well, 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 here's Mama Bloom's brood. Papa put over a business deal that brought him, as he thought, an interest in a movie company, the Accelo Pictures Corporation. Suddenly, he was informed by Sidney that he had not purchased a part of the company, but the whole thing. We find Papa today at home, if not in spirit, at least in body. Both he and Mama are still in bed, as it is early morning. Uh, Jack. Jack! Uh, oh, Jack. Oh, no. Jake, I didn't hear what you said. Point over this way. Hmm. Yeah. What? Jake, it's already seven o'clock in the morning. It's time to get up. Uh, well, I don't want to get up. I want to stay in bed. <laughs> I don't ever want to get up again. <laughs> you should say, Mama, please let me alone, huh? Papa, you got to get up. Should you be a animal that you should sleep all day? Mama, it ain't day yet. It ain't even got a good start. <laughs> Jake, any day when the sun is shining like it is now, it's got a good enough start so that you should get up. Yeah. Come on, Papa, come on. Hey, Mama, please, why are you pushing me? Don't dig your come elbows on, into my on. ribs. Mama, please. Oh, Mama, don't know that. I'm on a vacation. Not anymore, you ain't. <laughs> you bought a business. I bought... Oh, Mama, that's right. That's right. I bought a business. <laughs> and I was dreaming that I was back in New York in the knee pants factory. Hmm. So the only time now I can be happy is when I'm sleeping. Oh, Mama, why did you wake me up? Because, Papa, you got to get up and face the orchestra. <laughs> you bought the business and you got to attend to it. Oh, it weighs me up. <laughs> Sometimes I think it'd be much better if those Indians we saw in Arizona was real ones. <laughs> You make mistakes like buying a whole business when you think it was only buying a little piece. Ma, 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 ma. And you wish that the Indians was real so that I would be scolded? Uh, did I buy the business? <laughs> no, Mama, I did. <laughs> I will never forget it. Hmm. Didn't you read what you were signing, Papa? Ain't you got eyes or didn't you have your glasses along? Uh, I don't know, Mama. I don't know. It's all a little bit mixed up. You see, I was so happy when I thought I was putting one over on Sydney and Harold that I signed the paper very quick. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Too much hurry makes Jake a dull boy. What? That's, the... <laughs> That's good. That's good. Huh? And what's good? What I said. What? Who said? Never mind. Oh. It's always like that. Just like I'm saying that when somebody's trying to beat the other one, then the one who's trying to do the beating is always like Sidney said, behind the baseball. Uh, eight ball. You're behind something, Papa. And it's bigger than any ball in the world. It's so big that even you don't know what it is. All right, Mama, so I don't know what it is. I think I'm going to make to sleep again. No, no, you can't, Jack. Okay. No, Jake. Huh? Maybe the boys is already at the studio. Mama, I don't care. But, oh, Mama, I'm feeling very sick, and you say things to make me sicker. <laughs> now I can't get up because my knees are very weak. You'll feel better when you eat breakfast. I'm never going to eat again. I'm going to starve myself to death. That's very bad for your health, Jake, and you shouldn't say you're going to do things like that. Get up out of bed and get dressed, huh? 
Maybe the world will look a little ring around the rosier when you heat think. It always does for you. No matter how much I eat this morning, I won't be able to forget that I, I, Jacob Bloom, who thought he was a smart businessman, signed the paper that made him buy a whole business. There's no use crying over spilled beans, Papa. Besides, we got money enough left. Yeah, I know it. Then why are you worrying? Twenty-five years ago, if you made ten dollars in the little tailor shop, you was very happy. We went to Coney Island and took one ride on the rolling custard and had popcorn and we was happy. Yeah, yeah. Today, you got to have everything or you ain't satisfied. You're right, Becky, you're right. <laughs> all right, so I'll get up and go to the studios. Uh, Mama. Yeah, Papa. Do you think that maybe Sydney and Harold could be at the studios already? I don't know. Should I be able to look over that fine see them? Uh, that schlemiel Sydney, he would find out about it. So you should worry, Jack. Uh, as long as we got enough to eat and to live, we should worry. Yeah. Now you got something to play with, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, play with, with dynamite. And it's very dangerous to play when you don't know anything about it. Uh, Mama, hmm. where are my socks? You took them off, Papa, and I ain't been playing button, button, who's got the buttons with your socks. But I got to have socks. Look in the drawer, Jack, yeah? The drawer? Oh, <laughs> Uh, Mama, hmm? Mama, tell me something. What, Jack? Do you, uh, do you think maybe I was a little bit, uh, well, just a little bit crazy to buy a movie company? Hmm. Jack, there are lots of ways for people to be crazy, but I don't think you was crazy. Maybe a little bit too quick. You know, Mama, I bet you I could be good in the movie business. Yeah, yeah, of course you could, Jack. But first you got to learn all about it. Hmm. It's like the old Dobbs oil. Rome wasn't built. It wasn't? Then how did it get there? How did what get there, Papa? Rome, Rome. Jake, you're being foolish. We're not talking about Rome. We are talking about the movie business. Yeah, Mama, but you said something about Rome not being built. Sure, I did, but I didn't say it wasn't there. You don't understand, Papa. I said it was an old observe. Mama, you know something? What? I'm going back to bed. Jake, you can't go back to bed with your shoes on. If I stay up and listen to what we are saying, I'll fall down, and then somebody else will have to take off my shoes. Mama, why do you always make me forget what I'm talking about? One little tiny question I ask you. I ask you if you think I would be good in the movie business and you have to start talking about Rome. Don't do it, Mama, please. You make me very nervous. All right, all right, Jake. So you shouldn't get nervous. I won't say avoid. Now hurry up and get dressed, yeah? Uh, uh, uh. Hey, say. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Mm. Uh. Papa. Yes, Becky? Papa, you shouldn't be so worried. Maybe you did make a little mistake. So, you made it, and it's all over. Is it going to kill you? Is it going to take away all your friends? And you still got me? <laughs> yes, Mama, I still got you. And for that, I'm very happy. Sure, Jake, sure. Sure. And you got Sarah, and Yetta, yeah. and Sydney, and Harold. Sydney and Harold. I always got them. Oh, Papa, why is it when I'm saying something about Sidney and Harold, it's just like I'm waving a red flag to a cow? Why don't you say nice things about the boys? Because when I'm saying nice things about them, I am liking them. And when I'm liking them, they're asking me for money to do foolish things. I know what I'm doing, Becky. Sure. Sure, I like the boys. Ain't they? They're my own son-in-laws. Huh? But I don't have to talk about it. And that's that. Hmm. You sounded just like a radio. A very bad radio, what's out of order. Jake, you can't eat breakfast that way. I ain't started yet, so how do you know how I'm eating it? I don't mean you're heating breakfast. I mean you should shave first. I will make some coffee. Oh, that's good. And this morning, I want more than two eggs. I'm going to need a lot of strength. All right, Jake, all right. But hurry up so you won't be late to the office, huh? <laughs> yeah. You know, Mama, I'm feeling better already. Sure, you yeah. are. All you got to do is think of an egg and you start to feel better. Mommy, you know something? I think that because I'm going to work again, I feel like a new man. I'm up at 7 o'clock in the morning, I get dressed, I eat breakfast, and then I go to work. It's not like schmoozing around on a vacation, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> you were being very nervous and aggravated, Jake, and I'm so glad you got something to do. Hurry up with that breakfast, Mama, so I can go to the studios. If I'm going to be the big boss, I'll have to get there early. Jake, I want that when you get there, you shouldn't walk around so much. I shouldn't walk around? Mama, why not? Ain't I going to get any breakfast? I should be too weak to walk. Papa, listen to me. In the Nippens business, you was a very smart man. Mm -hmm. You still are a very smart man. Thank you. But in this business, you should keep your ears open. Huh? You should look around first and find out what is what. Then when you open your mouth to say something, you won't be saying anything that's wrong. So that you'll look dumb, huh? Huh? 
Yeah. Always. That's the best politics, Jake. I know, I know. I, I'm anxious to get there, Mama. Hurry up with the breakfast. You ain't shaved yet. All right, all right. I'll go and shave. But remember, Becky, more than two eggs this morning because I'm going to a new business. I'll need all my strength. Yes. <laughs> I'll need all my strength to keep from killing Sidney when I see his name in gold letters on the door. Papa, don't get yourself mad when you're shaving. Yeah. The last time you did, you're having to stay home to heal up. All right, Mama, all right. Just hurry up with the breakfast so I can get to the studios before the day is over. It's only ten minutes around from seven o'clock and there's twenty... There's somebody at the door this early in the morning. Jack! Uh, Jack! Jack, you shouldn't call me like that when I'm going around the corner with a razor. What's the matter? There's somebody at the door this early in the morning. You didn't buy something and have it sent CCC, did you? A uh, COD, Mama. No, I didn't buy anything else. All right, all right, I'll answer the door. You can't answer the door that way, Papa. You're looking like Santa Claus. So I'll go. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming, I'm coming. Jake, get uh, back in the bathroom. It's company we shouldn't want. You should scare them. All right, all right, Mama. Oh, oh yes, I thought you're never coming to the door. Hello, Sarah, darling. Come in, come in. <laughs> oh, it's nice to see you. <laughs> What you think here so early? Oh, it was such a glorious morning we couldn't sleep anymore. Where's Pa? Shaving. Papa! Papa, it's Sarah! Well, I got eyes, I got eyes. I don't shave all over. I shouldn't even know my own daughter. Hello, Pa. How's Jake? <laughs> I don't know any. And if we're talking about tricks, where's Sydney? Well, that's why I came here so early. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it, didn't I tell you, Mama? Even the movie business Sydney can't let alone. What do I have to do? Jake. Get up before it's daylight to beat Sydney to my own business? Jake, put down the razor before you're waving it too hard against somebody. Sir, I want to know where Sydney is. Is he at the studios? At the studios? Why, what do you mean? Honey, you hear that? Jake. She yeah. asked me what I mean. Don't you remember, Sarah? I bought a movie company. Look, Sydney uh, took the whole thing over with gold letters God. on the door. Jake, 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 if you are not being fired, I'll make only one egg. But, Mommy, you heard what she said. Well, you'll have to hurry. Sydney is at the studio. But Paul, Maybe I shouldn't eat breakfast at a time like this. <laughs> now you're talking foolish, Jake. Anytime you're not eating breakfast, it'd be a very cold day someplace. Is that... Oh, Sarah, listen to me. It's all right for Sydney to come into the business. But he should remember that it was my money. But listen, Look Paul. at me. I get up so early that I should get to the studios. And Sydney gets up before it gets dark even the night before, so he should beat me. Oh, it ain't fair. Oh, Pa, I wish you'd give me a chance to say something. I don't know what you're making such a fuss about. You don't. Papa's making a fuss about Sydney. Well, I don't know why, especially today. Especially today? What's different about today, Sarah, darling? Don't tell me. I'll look out the window and see. Yes, Sarah, what is different about today? <laughs> All this fuss over nothing. Sydney is more than nothing. Not much more, but enough. Pa, will you please wait a minute? You too, Ma. Don't you know that you can't go to the studios? It's Sunday! <laughs> 